Hey everybody, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Middens, an exploration game made in RPG Make Your XP. Middens, as you can see, is a surreal game, and you kind of go for the game with a talking gun on your guitar, and explore worlds that look kind of like living Salvador Dali paintings. Another fun fact is a lot of the dialogue is taken from various things like the Creator's Journal, various occult books, and even the final words of executed convicts. You, sir, are about to play a game. However... First... We must have words. Shifty eye, shifty eye. Clown face. Certain measures oblige me to inform you that I am your conscious in this tale. But also, I am your id. Happy upturned eye face. Know that when your finger is on the trigger, my tongue will be within reach to lick your nails. And my gaze will always meet the eyes of those you slay, even if yours do not. Knowing this, do you still wish to persist? Sure, let's go with it. I'm a proud American. Yes, but... In addition... Hereafter, we are a mated pair. Binded like notes to a song. Mine is yours. And that yours is ours. We are simpatico henceforth. Lastly, there ahead are the wild parts of the rift. Therefore, I caution that you watch your step and beware of strange trinkets. Great, great, great. I look forward to our collaboration. I believe we're already becoming close. Does your, uh, does your eyeball have to kind of fall off whenever you're done, or...? Oh, I see how that works. It's like the opening to a Sega Genesis game. Okay, so... We play as the Nomad, who... is described as an... Avatar, essentially, like, not necessarily a character within the game, but a thing you control to, as like, when you explore an actual dream and you feel like you're controlling a avatar, then actually being there or something. Acquired a talkative revolver. What stains? So let's see. Nomad. I'm quite a charming and dashing fellow. Fit. We've got a talkative revolver. Blue aura. Decayed. Let's see. Weathered makeshift metal helm. So I'm a bit of a man in the iron mask. Ready cloak. And a dream catcher. Invokes lamb, om, um, and yam. Exercise. <laughs> Acoustics. Flea battle. Whoa. That's interesting. So many altered states permeate the rift's possibilities. It occurs to me some further counsel may be required. Shifty eye. 
You know, I've said many times, I sometimes wonder how a person learns to pronounce emoticons. The negative. Ah, I see, it's like an RPG. Funnel? What? Angry old clue, dart and forebear. Legend saps your vitality. So that's poison. That's blind. That's slow. And that's paralyze. And that's silence. Okay. Confusion. That's... hmm. Physical buff, speed buff, magic defense, physical defense. Okay, simple enough. So I'm exploring my mind. My mind also appears to have jellyfish in the brain. For whatever reason. Oh, hello, gun. Uh, we seem to have been separated again. Now, uh, do we check everything in the... Now, what's acoustic... Let's see. Exercise. <laughs> what the... <laughs> what's that? Let's look at that again. Exercise. Okay. Acoustics. Escape. Now, pocket it. We got disarm and a talkative revolver. We don't have a save option yet, but I'm assuming we'll get that in a second. We got some, uh... At first I thought those were flying mouths, but... They look almost like manta rays from a distance. Walking in the desert... Seems kinda of Lovecraftian, personally. It's like a fucked up version of Dune. Mystery material. Unravel the mystery. Trying to find worm skins. The ref's a strange place, huh? Now the instruction manual said something about shooting people. But I don't see the option to do that. Maybe that comes up later. Hey, man. A dear greeting stranger, have you perhaps heard of the virtues of saving? I hate to exalt common sense, but saving is an essential part of living here. Still, many arrogantly forego this truth and perish in the rift. Their progress forever lost. Luckily for you, I make saving easy. Don't confuse me with a common street busker. A save point is an honorable end. In the man profession. Your wounds have also been mended. Also, if ever you happen to be slandered, I'll do my best to clear your good name. The sprite's a bit inconsistent to what his actual look is, but... Psst. What's that gun? Kill them all? 
equip me from your inventory, and charge the Z key to unload lead into your enemies. Fire from no less than four or three paces away, for headshots move vertical of your target. Firing on certain targets will certainly initiate a duel, while in cases they will simply die of being shot. If it moves and breathes, you can likely kill it. Remember that, once a target is shot, it doesn't return. So to clarify, enter your menu the X key, select your pocket, and equip the revolver, that's me, from the inventory screen. Kisses. Yeah, uh, I should take advice from a talking gun, telling me that, uh, hey, oh my god, I just popped him. I just, I just murdered that bubble. Oh my god. I just popped another one. And another one. I'm a serial killer. God. Like you aim a little bit lower than. The, the bubbles are remaining. Oh well. Here around flies souls that have become trapped by the rift's wiles. You cannot fire upon them, so don't exhaust yourself trying. Past here lays the rift's threshold. Keep on straight, ignore those areas where foliage grows thickest. I think this is just a wandering place, I see. Kind of crossroads. More jellyfish. Oh, what? It's, uh, a battle. Trigger. Race. Let's experiment here a bit. Trigger. Prone. That's quite rude. Now, let's see. Lamb? Let's try summoning all of them, even if it's probably not needed. I want to see. Expels lamb from duel. Trigger. Mom? And the M. Let's just praise him for now. So we got three familiars. It's a lot kind of similar off. XP, one nothings. I wasn't quite sure what I exactly killed there. It said it was a throne. Oh. But, um. Thrones. It could have been like a depiction of an angel, actually, if you know your Christianity, but let's see. Can I shoot you? It's kind of depressing. Oh my god. I just murdered that or and these things got really pissed. Level up. Interesting. Well, we'll avoid you, uh, killer jellyfish for now. I'm a little bit more interested in the exploring aspect. What's this? 
Nothing. Just a little dot. You know, he said I couldn't shoot these guys. Yeah, I can. I find it a bit disturbing why every action revolves around shooting. Like, murdered at probably like 20 bubbles and one giant metallic orb already. Uh, okay. The rift is vast, and its denizens horrid. It occurs to me some further counsel may be required. Shifty eyes. Shifty eyes again. You can play an instrument. How fortunate. The rift is sensitive to sound vibrations. Strumming your guitar, you may discover something worthwhile. It's been a while, you say. Lucky I took music lessons all those years back. To activate your instrument, Select acoustics from the prowess menu, and tap the down arrow key once to strum the chords. Oh, you're fond of exercise too? I suppose that would work similarly. Only in that case, you may want to hold the down key. Don't bother with that though. There's no use to building up one's body. In a world where ranged weapons exist. Happy gun face. Why not go ahead and test your music fingers now? Go to the talent menu and select acoustics and strum the downward arrow as I've instructed. Any other arrow key will discard the equipped instrument. My terminals? What the? Acoustics. Great, great. Great, great. I hope you don't find it intrusive, but I have one more suggestion. Your human soul has three pertinent chakra points. Lam, Yam, and Om. They rule your feet, body, and head, respectively. Intone those names from your list of talents in battle to protect Ephric proxies. They should be valuable in assisting you in them, pacifying your enemies. And you best not forget that you can equip me from your pocket inventory. Just look for the revolver with the gift for grabbing in your inventory. I love you too, gun. Well, let's see what exercising does. I'm, uh, I'm getting my reps in. You know, because that's just like what I like to do when I'm exploring a dream world and I'm in the middle of the desert surrounded by killer jellyfish and skull thrones things from Warhammer 40k. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but whatever. Oh god, it's near your tip. Let's try playing. Oh, okay, they didn't like my playing. This is not a good position to be in, but I don't think it's gonna kill me exactly. Oh god, I'm stuck. There, oh, there we go. It seems I'm pretty strong on my own, even without the other thing, so. And I have a pretty large health pool. I'm like, wow. We've traded our desert, the world of purple and gradients. Hey, man. Happiness is a warm gun. 
Today for breakfast I ate a dozen collapsed stars and one frozen TV dinner. Got a spare nickel for a lost soul, bub. That Wolverine, bub. You guys like guitar. The rift needs a cleansing, but it cannot cleanse itself by its own will alone. Let's give it a bath. A blood bath. That, I think, would surely benefit us all. When you've scrubbed it right and good, we can have ourselves another chat. I'm all about these chats, you see. Catch you then, partner. I think... Uh, I think something's wrong when your gun starts telling you to, uh... I made that joke about earlier about the gun, like, just talking to me and saying, Kill them all. Kill them all. Well, it looks like it actually kind of wants to do that. I'm curious. Now, I know there's multiple endings, and I'm sure... There's something a bit with the, uh... These are just brain trees, so... I prefer places that I can be by myself. Now, should I... Should I just start murdering people and try to get, like, some kind of bad end? Have I already gone too far down the path of carnage? That's the question. Legs. Almost like they're... They're getting more less detailed as I go down. Are you enemies or what are you exactly? Well, they're intangible beings. Yo, you gotta see I can bum. No. But I do have my guitar. I think something just happened. I saw the flash. Did you turn green or were you always green? Uh, whatever. Hey, it's Earthworm Jim! Adult form of windy vermis species famed for their lung capacity. Valerian Mongo. Hey man, you waiting for the bus? Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm a murderer. I suppose we can get on the soul train. Fermi forms at tunnel dimensional drifts coalesce in mass here. They comprise the megafauna of this fair country. They are worms that migrate here to feed on the algae that fungigates at the roots of the world's end. Their silk web trails are the threads that string the various planes of existence here and everywhere else. Perhaps you will find a use for their variegated proclivities throughout your journey. I have observed some species that may such your wounds. The dark matter that divides the dimensional stratus is thickly caked, and many worm species therefore have a talent for biting and burrowing. Other life forms that proliferate the rift are of a lower order than even the worms. Of these most are only figments of the rift's fancies. Yeah, I'm jamming to this. Sounds a bit like Hotline Miami, actually. Hey. No, I don't want to get in the bus. Oh, well. 
Never dream of falling. By the by, if you come by a family album, I'd borrow you a better deal. Oh. Something. I have done something that has pissed off something. I'm being assaulted by the better man. Oh my god! This does not look good for me. This is dangerous, but I'm gonna try to finish him off in that te- oh shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Drink all my items. Oh crap! This is not good. Desperation item. Pain? I just wanted to explore your dream world and possibly murder various people within it. Why do you have to... This ain't good. Have to use it. The Vole Mago. Oh crap. Ah! Live by the sword, die by the sword, indeed. Well, while I certainly got in over my head, uh, and despite my death, our journey is far from over, and we've really probably only hit the very tip of this game, as far as icebergs go. This game is. Really cool. I really think this is a really cool game. Uh, I really like its imagery, I like its design and kind of dialogue that's within it. There's definitely a message to it, of course it's way too early for me to figure it out, although um, it definitely, if you read some of the Arthur's interviews, I mean the creator of the game's interviews, rather, he does talk about how the gun is based off his concept of uh, weapons that had kind of f abilities to recognize faces and kind of talk. Like, what if the weapons that you use to shoot someone was witness to your actions? So, there's that kind of element there. I'm not, I don't think it's necessarily like an anti-gun thing, but rather it's a... Taking responsibility and about the power a weapon gives you. That's why I take it anyway. Anyway, stay tuned for part two where we'll finally get off the soul train and hopefully not be accosted by the better man.